practical service unit where you, at that time you used to call it a riot squad or depot. So we, we were in Valeri, right, at the tactical service unit. And it, we had three units. One day you work, the next day you're off, the third day you in line or you in reserve. If there's an emergency, the reserve unit got to go if there's a strike or whatever. So one day my unit was on reserve, and so they had a, a strike in Kokwani, and people were protesting like a riot. So my unit went to Kokwani. And so I, I, I was shipped out to Kokwani to uh, settle down the riot. And in those days, for those young ones you may not know, we had train. Where the embankment was, there was train. And his lunch used to come every day by train by his mother. And he, we, uh, we used, he used to go at um, uh, the, the, the main uh, post um, train station on Carmichael Street. And um, I can't remember. Lama. Lama, yeah, Lama, yeah. And go and pick up his lunch and come back to the and eat. So I got shipped out to Kokwani, and so his mother sent his lunch. And my now wife, she was about to go to America. And, and so she wrote a letter and sent it, put it in his lunch packet, and to let him know that, I'm, that she's going to America and I should know. So I'm in Kukwani, and then he called Kukwani and, um, to let me know that, you know, Barney's going to America, such and such a day. So my time there, I was supposed to spend two more weeks, but I played sick, you know, we go to drill, and I fakely throw myself on the ground like a faint, so they had to ship me out to town. They were I just want to come back to see the lady before she go to the States. <laughs> but it worked so in those two pivotal experiences, he, um, he really let me know, you know, we became friends. And, and finally, when I, anytime I come to Guyana, the first person I look for before I change my money, I know where to find him by the East Coast car park. I would go there and uh, I feel safe with him. Once I'm with, with, with Barabbas, I go and I change my money up. And um, he, he walked, escorted me, changed my money and come back. And, and I'm safe, I give him what he's supposed to get. But this is the funny part about him. <laughs> you know, he would tell me, uh, when I give him his raise, you know, then he would go to my wife, you know. So I said, man, he's one family. I said, that's my wife, I already hooked you up, you know. He would say, oh, you my friend, that's my cousin. <laughs> 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 so I leave them alone so my wife she take care of him so I don't get involved with family business. So that's a vibe with Grant I know. He's a very nice person. Some people may just remember recent times, but that's not a vibe of Grant. The vibe of Grant I know, it was a, a progressive person, a very educated, was a policeman and, and did a lot for himself in life. But you know, sometimes because of we don't control politics, you may not have opportunity. There's a, med, there's a lot of educated people who were smart in school, but never had a chance in life because the government didn't make provisions for them, and, and so they fall through the crack. And he came in that uh, era because the government, well, I ain't even talking about the government because I got to get out of the country, so. But what I'm saying is like, um, his situation was not of his own because of the environment in, in the country. So that's all I have to say about my friend. But all I know, he was a very progressive guy that I love dearly, and he will always be my friend. He got a special place in my heart. And I was asked to read um, a tribute from Keith Easton, so I'll do that when I get off. It's a tribute from Keith Easton and some of his country's high school classmates for a vibrant grant known as Barabbas. As a student of Comte High School, later Republic Cooperative High School, and also a villager, many of us knew Viper Grant. I was reminded by another friend and classmate that it was in school during scripture classes that he chose the name of Barabbas. From that time, we all called him Barabbas. Barabbas was an easygoing person who had his own way of doing things. On several visits to Guyana, he would accompany me to various places in and out of the village. On my visit to Guyana in May of this year, we spoke of his illness and he said that I should not tell his cousin 
of our discussion, but I had to do so since I knew he always get the right advice. Most of you would know, and we all should remember, that Barabbas was a master drummer. He played all over the country for wakes, quick, quick, and other occasions. To his brother Sidney and all the other family members, we would like to express our sincere sympathy. May his soul rest in peace. We describe it. He was a brave man. He was at death. He was blessed. He was affectionate. He was remote. And he was solitary. And we all will miss him. B. B. Beautiful smile 
do a poem for Barabbas. And I said to Pat, I need to get in contact with Ras Michael to assist me to do that poem. Because in 1976, either 75 or 76, we had formed a theater workshop here in Buxton called the Existence Theater Workshop. And Barabbas and Slipper Tree were the drummers in that theater workshop. And I want to say this. When someone dies, it is important that the talent, the attribute, whatever gift that was given to that person by God, that we celebrate that gift and we use that attribute or that virtue and try to inculcate it into our life. This is what I will say about Barabbas. As a teenager, Ras Michael asked me to direct one of our productions. I was barely probably 17 years old. And you could imagine the nerves putting a production together because we used to do dramatic poetry in the French government school before a Boston audience that is hypercritical. Any mistake, you'll hear it for weeks. The time lies on the, on the line top, on the road top. You'll get help. And I remember putting that program together. And we used to have long rehearsals. Because they used to call me the slave master. I would rehearse something, rehearse it, rehearse it, rehearse it, rehearse it. Sometimes you will go until 1 or 2 o'clock in the morning. Because my whole idea was, if you're going to present something yeah. on the stage, it has to be properly done. Yeah. And Barabbas was there every bit of the way. And the virtue I saw in him was reliability. He was a reliable person. And for that, I think we were all, we were made richer. And those of us who live after Barabbas try to inculcate that in our lives. Reliability. When you give your word, stick to your word. If you're asked to do a task and you say yes, do your task. And that is why Patrick Battisfield, apparently, every time someone dies in the family and Patrick has a poem to write, Patrick picks up the phone or tells Jean or somebody, John must read this poem. So I have to drop my work and do it because I learned reliability from Barabbas. I will ask Ras Michael to read the poem that Patrick uh, sent. And after he has done that, I will read a psalm to comfort all of us. John said, Barabbas was a very important part of the group. He was more than a part of the group. He was a very good friend. He was always a very good friend. Now, this poem that I'm going to read was written by Patrick, as John said. And it says, Create rhythm. The gods are emerging. Wait a minute. Vibrant Grant was astutely academically. He understood hunger, science and technology, enlightenment, universal liberation and the fostering of human work and self-reliance. He agitated and pointed fingers. He understood the implications of power politics, venture capital and greed. So let us celebrate his life in rhythm, with rhythm. Beyond consciousness, rituals, myths, and rites. Drums, 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 village drums. The garden's fertile, 
all things are transitory. Our indigenous son's life mission was rhythm, rhythm, rhythm. The order of the universe compressed in his fingers inside of the light where he enabled us to traverse different heights in celebrations by taking flights with honoring our ancestors. Spirituality and consciousness are not there. Light is love. Love is light. Drum! 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 Can you see the light? Embrace it and grasp the vibrations within. Conga drums, voodoo drums, shango drums, bongo drums, reggae drums, calypso drums, drums in steel, so drums. Member four, drums. Drums are our being. Rhythm, rhythm, rhythm. Rhythm is life. Life is rhythm. Drums, drums, the order of the universe. Rhythm, rhythm. Rhythm is imbued. Flow with it. Glow while experiencing true regeneration. Yes, spiritual regeneration. Breathe. As true regeneration and transmutation is within the scope, clasp it. Brothers and sisters, rock with it. For Barabbas, the bar is inside the light. Fingers vibrating, ever watchful as the planets vibrate. Rhythm, rhythm, rhythm. Light and dark, dark and light. Be upful. Greet each other in the here and the now as the ancestral tree continues to bloom and the human spirit is resilient, treasure it and respect it. Rhythm is life, and life is rhythm. He who is whisked off stood up. The torch is lit. Continue to celebrate in rhythm, with rhythm, as Barabbas is inside of the light. Naked truth. Metatron, Ethiopic, Ethiopic Enoch wick was taken up. Peace is unto you, my brother and cousin. My good friend, the bar. Yes, indeed. Bravo. I'll read Psalm 84, and I hope this comforts us, all of us who are grieving at this time. How amiable are thy tabernacles, O Lord of hosts! My soul longeth, yea, even fainteth for the courts of the Lord. My heart and my flesh cried out for the true and living God. Yea, the sparrow had found a house and the swallow a nest for herself, where she may lay her young, even thine altars, O Lord of hosts, my King and my God. Blessed are they that dwell in thy house, they will still be praising thee, Selah. Blessed is the man whose strength is in thee, in whose heart are the ways of them, who pass it through the valley of Baca, make it to the well. The rain also filleth the pools. They go from strength to strength, every one of them in Zion, appear it before God. O Lord God of hosts, hear my prayer. Give ear, O God of Jacob, Selah. Behold, O God, our shield, and look upon the face of thine anointed. For a day in thy courts is better than a thousand. I had rather be a doorkeeper in the house of my God than to dwell in the tents of wickedness. For the Lord God is a sun and shield. The Lord will give grace and glory. No good thing will he withhold from them that walk uprightly. O Lord of hosts, blessed is the man that trusteth in thee. May the soul of Barabbas rest in peace. Amen. Yeah. 
see at me. You move from here and different, different place. He was a nice guy. Sometimes when we sleep, he get angry with me. A couple days after, we get back together.
nonetheless, for the family and friends of Barabbas, we were brothers and sisters spiritually. Barabbas and me, we agree and we disagree. When the price is not right, we disagree. But I always tell him, you can't beat me. Because I is one of your family. Our last encounter was on Emancipation Day. When he came to play for me, he was the only drummer. Because for some other reasons, the other drummers went elsewhere. And he was the only person who showed up. And I said to him, you have made a vow with me because we weren't speaking for almost five years. Because you did me a wrong. And I told him, I will not speak to him until he apologizes. And one day he saw me in Georgetown and he said, Let me make it right. <laughs> I know 